my goodness. The perfect camera's upon us, my friend. We've made it. We made it to the top of a mountain. It's a small mountain, but it's a full frame mountain. We finally got a cannon in here. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. That is so wide and it's so heavy. We got the Canon EOS R with the 15 to 35 f2.8. F28 is hard. It can be done. <laughs> it's easier if you hold it by the lens. Oh, that's, that's good times. That's simple. So today I wanna to test a couple things. We'll test the stabilization. The digital IS is not on yet, but we will see if it is superior. And just some autofocus shit, you know the deal. I also wanna see, cause Canon has the 24 mil F 2.8 that's stabilized. It's an EF glass, so you have to adapt it. But they're 24 and they're 28. I wanna replicate it on this since we have all those focal ranges at Tony 2.8. So we'll see. Is that the ultimate? Because it will be lighter. It's not terrible. If you bring the monkey strength, God's with you. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So first things first, have you noticed that this is full frame now? Are we glorious? Is it? Because I've never tested, yes I have, the S1H. But so far everything was little micro loser and APS-C, come on. Now we're on the rig and it better be glorious because it's so much heavier than anything I've ever tried. Even the S1H was lighter, I think. It is. So we're all the way wide open at 15 mil. And how is the stabilization just like this, handheld by the lens? Let's actually see if it's worse holding the tripod. So I'm gonna switch to that. Now I'm holding the tripod. Is that any worse? It feels less stable. I see the thing moving more. This is terrible. How's the autofocus? How's the corner sharpness? I think the top right corner sharpness is pretty good. Does it stretch my face out? I can't even see the flippy screen anymore. That damn ass lens jumping in front of my shot. Okay, let's put the digital IS on, see if we got any better difference. That's not a, shut up. All right, it's on. Just the regular version, not enhanced. We'll do the enhanced. But for some reason, Canon's enhanced. It crops so much more, but it has the same exact effect. It doesn't do it better. It's just like we super cropped it. It's still the same exact stabilization. Is it any better? Let's do a little side by side with Loser over there. No digital stabilization in his life. He's never had a date. He dates worms. That's pretty sad. That's sad. Okay, now enhanced is on. Is it so much better? I could be talking shit. Just from what I've seen in other reviews, it seems exactly the same as regular Stabe, only it's super cropped. The 15 mil is more like a 30 now, but we're good. Is this amazing? Panasonic level stabilization in a full frame camera. I'm holding it by the lens now, so that's the crop. It's still doable. It looks doable. This is totally doable. You would build some shoulders of a thunder god, but I don't see it as unreasonable anymore. It hurts, but in a good way. <laughs> All right, we're back to the regular stabilization. This camera was sent to me by Camera Canada. Sorry, Henry's. Come on. We had one date. I've been asking Henry's for this camera, but they didn't have a demo version they could spare. So I had to look elsewhere and I went on a date in London, Ontario with Camera Canada. They're smaller, but they hug me when you didn't, Henry. So let's all go to Camera Canada. Sure, it's a far walk. London, what else were you gonna do with your afternoon? I'm in 4K now, there's a slight crop. This is a 15 mil lens. What happened to it? Is it even better? It's doable. I don't think I could do this for too long. Let's stop. So usually when I vlog, I'm vlogging full extended like this. We're at 15 mil, 
I want to switch it to 24 to see if that other lens is viable. So let's switch it on up. First, here's 20 mil. So we get a chance to look at the Tamron 20 mil f2.8. Is it wide enough? Now we're at 24 mil. That feels like a bit much. We got the digital stay on, so that crops in a bit. Oh boy. Oh, the whole thing's ruined. Oh no. And now 28 mil, forget about it. That's too much. Especially fully extended. Why haven't I switched arms? Oh, this is, is there rolling shutter? That house better have been built by carpenters named Jesus Hammerwood. And for maximum tonne, we got the 35 mil 2.8. That's the one lens I forgot. I asked for the 35 mil f 1.8, but in the next email, I forgot to ask for it. And I got a weird ass lens in the back. We're gonna do some photography examples. I'm gonna become a photographer. Now that I have a full frame camera, I'm a photographer. So initial impressions so far, the Canon dual pixel autofocus is fantastic. It's working in my life. I've seen many videos that it just doesn't work. We'll see how it's working outside here, but it just, it's not pulsing. I've seen it pulse, but in my room, maybe it's user error on everybody else's part, but it is smooth and reliable. This is not heavy. I like that you can carry it so close. Oh, this is wet. Why did it? Oh God, I'm in the wrong ass place. I'm in a swamp. You know what surprisingly I haven't been impressed with is the Canon colors. I thought that was the thing. Maybe outside it's better, but in the studio, I wasn't seeing it. It just looked kind of cheap. They look cheap. The Panasonic looks better. The Fuji looks way better. The Samsung, don't even talk about it. Kind of cheap looking. And some things like Canon Log doesn't work with auto ISO. And it's grayed out in the menu right now. You know what I hate? Every camera company, I almost stepped in poo. No need to show it. If you have something in your menu that's grayed out, tell me why and tell me how to change it right there. Like, oh, I want to turn Canon Log on. Oh, it's grayed out. Then let me switch the thing that's on off right there. Just like, oh, stabilization is on. You can't use that. Okay, switch it off now and let me in the log. Don't let me search around your menu system. Get a life. To switch the slow-mo on, I had to dive deep into menu systems, turn off stabilization, do all this shit. It's like, it should be one flick. Let me flick it. How's the sky? Is it blown out? That's one thing Canon's known for. They blow out the highlights. Even GoPro can retain them. What's wrong with you? Come on. Here's the sky. I'm dark, but it'll come. It'll come. Okay. And then that all gets clipped. And there's no zebras. And your full frame camera. This is your best camera. You have no zebras. That's cool. Who needs those? Just, I can tell. The real question is, can it compete with the GoPro? Can a full frame camera capture the same image quality that a little GoPro can? What do the squirrels in the background think about it? Is the stabilization as good? We got no digital stab on right now. Backlit hero shot. For sunlitten. Golden God Boy. It better look a million times better than this thing. I swear to God, if it doesn't. Oh, oh that's good. I swear I had the Fuji LUT working on this thing and then it fell apart. It worked better on overcast days. We'll try it again, but that native profile is bullshit. Oh, this is heavy. There's a squirrel. Oh, we found a squirrel. Come here. Come little friend, come little friend. Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> Do you have squirrel detection autofocus? <laughs> Can I tap on him? Oh, I tapped, oh, it's tracking him. There, come here, buddy. Oh, it has squirrel detection autofocus. Did you get it? Yeah, you got it. You got it. 
Oh, it's no longer tracking him. Oh, it forgot. Cannon forgets you when it needs you most. <laughs> One thing I'm curious about to see if it can track me, I make like exercise videos on the Vegetable Police channel and I always have to manual focus on these bars. It never works right. So let's see if it can track my ass while I work out. I'll have to take the mic off. highlight tone priority on. Does that do anything? It seems to be less clippy. What if you just film all that? And then I come in. Hmm. Life hack? Confirmed or no? Have we confirmed it? It seems better. We're in C-Log. No, we're not. I can't even find how to turn C-Log on. Someone help. Okay, Canon Log is on, but I'm in control of exposure now, and that can't go well. We're at 500th of a shutter speed, 2.8 of course. ISO 100. There's a squirrel watching. He's patiently waiting for nuts. I have some. Are you sure you want them? <laughs> hey, buddy. Come here, buddy. Here, buddy. Come here. Here. Did you get it? Ah. Is Canon Log beautiful? I put a Fuji LUT on it. Wow. I just, I don't like being in control of all this stuff. Just make brightness easier. Stupid shit. I'm curious what happens in shutter priority. Are you aperture stepping my ass? Oh, it doesn't even show on the screen. You're lame, Canon. There's no audio levels on the screen. I don't know what the ISO's at. All I see is 1 60th and that we're in autofocus. Like, give me a break. Give me a break right now. Show me something. Show me your heart. It's almost as if there's a cripple hammer close by. How are you doing? Come on, I'm, I'm using him. I'm giving you the spotlight here. You're out of focus, it's working? I'm happy with it. It's good. I'd recommend it. There will be links down below. It's kind of heavy. So this is just my first impressions. It takes me like six videos to make a good one. So we'll see, I'll play around with some settings. We'll make some more. But so far, not bad. It's a little heavy for vlogging, but it feels reliable. Feels like that autofocus gets you. It gets you good, even though we're at F29, probably. Not that I could tell. Still, I'm gonna leave. What do you think? Is it the perfect camera? Post it down below. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.